Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be talking to you guys about something that one of me and my personal friends, we were having a conversation the other night about basically being the fat friend and how we are now, how we were back then, and I had the idea of, wow, if you and me feel like this, there's got to be other people out there that feel the same way. And I feel like this is kind of a topic that you really can't talk about with your friends, especially the ones that are on the thinner side, because you kind of like, I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. I don't want to make you feel bad. I don't want to make you feel like weird about it because it's something that's not their fault. It's just something that I personally feel at times, even though me personally, who had a freaking bikini pic of me go viral over the internet, someone like me who still has times where I'm just like, I am the duff of the friend group. And, which if you don't know what duff is, is the designated ugly fat friend. It's something that I've dealt with my entire life. So I wanted to sit down and have a conversation with you guys about something that is very real to me and something that I feel like is very personal and something that I feel like a lot of you guys can relate to. So obviously if you're watching this video, you can probably relate to this. So grab a snack, grab a bowl of cereal or some pizza or something. Wanna have like a little tea party conversation. Yeah, my entire life I've always felt like the fat friend. Growing up, I've always had like thinner friends. I've always had thinner and like attractive friends and then there was me and I'm always like, oh, I am the ugly friend, I am the fat friend. And also just like a throwback story for you guys. When I was in seventh grade, I had this friend for five years. She was my best friend, she was my ride or die. She was someone that I considered my best friend. First day of seventh grade, my mom got a phone call from her mother basically saying that she didn't want me and her daughter being friends anymore after five years of friendship, which again is from seven to 12 years old, which in that time period, it feels like a very long time. So I was like, well, why? So my mom had to sit me down and have this like, awkward, horrible conversation with me about how basically her mother told my mom that she didn't want me to be her friend because I was too fat and how I ate too much and how she wanted her daughter to be cool in school and how I personally, me being fat, was making her daughter not make friends and how I was gonna make her daughter not cool in high school when we go in another year. The mom also went on to say how I ate too much at her house and how it was making her daughter like start eating more and that she didn't want her daughter to become overweight. I was a bad influence, all this stuff. So that kind of really killed my self-esteem way back when. That was back then and if we go to now, I'm very body positive because it's something that I've struggled with for a very long time. My friends growing up were always like thin, they were always good looking. Me and my friends, we would go to concerts, we would go to the beach, we would go out, and I would be like, I am the fat one, I am the heaviest person here, I am the, I probably weigh more than all these people put together. These are things that have genuinely crossed my mind when I'm out with friends, which I should be out having a good time, not worrying about being the fat friend. I've even gone as far as, I've even talked to one of my friends about this where I compare myself to other people's friends. I'm like, I'm so sorry that I am your friend. Like, I'm so sorry that me, like you have a fat friend. I'm so sorry that your best friend is a fat person and their friend isn't, they're, pretty and they have they have a great body and all this stuff and I'm like I wish I could give that to you but I just can't and that's a genuine thing that I have felt and even recently that specific example has been recent and even me going to the beach with one of my friends like granted like I said there was a bikini picture of me that went viral all over the internet even me going to the beach has made me feel uncomfortable sitting next to my friend in a cute little bathing suit and here I am I'm like mm -hmm. I look like a whale with a bathing suit. There's been so many times where I'm like, this person is way too good looking to be my friend, or this person is so much more attractive than me. How are they friends with me? It kind of makes me look at myself and be like, wow, I'm so lucky to be all these people's friends considering I'm fat. And there's even been times I feel like I'm there to make my friends look good, which is not my friend's intention, but I feel like I'm genuinely there to make my friends look good. I can't even tell you guys how many times I've been out with friends where my friends have gotten phone numbers, my friends have gotten hit on, my friends have gotten flirted with, and then I'm kind of off in the corner like, I feel like I'm there to make them look good. Like, mm, your friend's like the fat one, so, but you look great. And granted, it shouldn't be like that, but it's genuinely how I feel. And 
I'm gonna be straight out and honest with you guys. But some things that genuinely help me when I'm feeling down about myself or if I feel like my friends shouldn't be my friends because they're too attractive or they shouldn't be my friends because why would they wanna be friends with a fat person? I have to sit back and think, listen, this person's my friend, they know about my weight, they know I'm fat, they have eyes, they can see, and they don't care. So why should I? Granted, that situation in seventh grade really didn't help, <laughs> but I kind of have to step back from that sometimes and be like, okay, these are new people, these are new situations. These are people that are not shitty people. If they're confident with going to the beach with me in a bathing suit, I should be confident with myself being in a bathing suit next to them. So just as like a little piece of advice, like if your friends are your friends, they love you for you. They don't care if you're overweight. They don't care if you're fat. They don't care about any of that crap because they wouldn't be your friend if they didn't. They have eyes, they can see. If you're overweight, they have eyes, they can see that. It doesn't matter. They're obviously liking you for you and that's all that should really matter. Also, one other thing I try to tell myself is don't overthink it. When I'm out with my friends and I look at them and I'm like, wow, my friend's really skinny and really good looking and fit. You need to stop yourself. When you're in a room full of your skinny friends, don't be like, oh, I'm the fattest one here. I probably weigh more than all these people put together and you go on a whole rampage about how you're the fattest one there. They don't care, neither should you. You have to look at your weight as something that makes you different. Like if your friends are all skinny, they're all attractive, they're all this and that, obviously they like you for other reasons or they like the fact that you're a little chunkier, who cares? You have to remember that that's not something that defines you and it's not something that should make or break a friendship. And I'm even saying this to you guys and probably gonna watch this video back so hopefully I get something from it and take a piece of my own advice because I know it's hard and I know it's hard not to compare yourself to other people because I feel like that's just something that human nature is. You kind of compare yourself to other people. When you feel like you're getting into that funk and you realize you're starting to compare yourself to other people, like you need to stop and just be like, no, my friends are my friends because they like me. Even if you're not necessarily overweight, if you're insecure about your body and if you're insecure about yourself, look at it as a way that it makes you different. Like for example, I'm overweight. Anyone can tell that. When I walk in a room, even if people look at me and it's like, wow, that, that girl is like overweight and obese, like whatever. They look at me and say that, hey, guess what? I still got their attention. I try to make it a positive. I try to make it something that's like, this is what makes me different. This is what makes me different from my friends. If you constantly are with your friends and you're in the background like, oh my God, I shouldn't be friends with these people. They're so much better looking than I am. They're skinnier than I am. You're not gonna have fun. You're not gonna enjoy life. You're just gonna sit there and be miserable the whole time. And to be honest, where's the fun in that? They obviously like you. They obviously wanna be your friend. They don't care that you're overweight. And if you have friends that care that you're overweight and try to get you to lose weight or make fun of your weight, if they tell you don't look good in certain clothes and if they come at you about your body, you need to drop those people. And those people are not worth your time. They are not worth shit to you because they are shitty friends. I feel like this is also like a pep talk for myself, but I hope this video really helps a couple of you guys out there that are feeling a little bit down about yourself and you're comparing yourself to your friends because it's something that I go through all the time and I will continue to go through even beyond this video. I don't know if this video made any sense. I don't know if this video was kind of all over the place. So I'm sorry about that, but it's just basically me going on and talking to you guys about something that is very personal for me and it's something that I've wanted to talk about here for a while. So if you guys like this video and you like having like a little sit down chit chat video with you guys, give this video a like so I just know you guys like these kind of videos. Subscribe for more videos. Make sure you guys hit the little notifications button. Share this video with your friends. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in my next video and I love you so, so much and thank you for always being there for me. Bye.